everyone, this is a game of Killer Whale where we took only five ships in. This is, like I said in the analysis videos, one of the easiest uh, operations. And it's definitely one you can take shorthanded. And in the first version, there was a video on YouTube where someone took only four ships. But in that version, you could also play the real-time strategy carriers. And it is actually... It is actually very different playing with the real-time strategy carriers as you're much more capable of carrying in Killer Whale in that version than the new carriers after the rework. Now Team Comp is an aircraft carrier, battleship, two I guess heavy cruisers Molotov isn't really a heavy cruiser per se, but it basically fills the same role as the main reason to take heavy cruisers is their ability to destroy forts from long range with their armor piercing rounds. And I am playing the Makarov. Usually I would take a destroyer, but I did a compromise as we did need a light cruiser and the Makarov, or if you wanted to take it, the Nuremberg has 6 second reload which makes it probably the best cruiser other than a destroyer to take out the buildings. Now if you remember that fort that we just destroyed shoots armor piercing and that's something that can really hurt you in a cruiser if it citadels you. Of course, the disadvantage of taking a Makara Nuremberg is you only have one front turret. Now one thing not that didn't happen in this game is sometimes there are players that will stick the aircraft carrier right outside here and what will happen there is G101 instead of coming up the inside will go out to attack the aircraft carrier. Pretty sure even in operations but, and uh, not just co-op the bots know where every single ship is and that's why the G101 will go out and attack the aircraft carrier even though it's probably not spotted and 
as you saw, aircraft carrier had spotted the transports early to get them moving and easier to kill. And I am basically doing my cruiser slash destroyer role as I call it and taking out buildings and transports There, I'm actually aiming at support ship 3. As of right now, it's just the conduct left to destroy along with buildings. And we are easily on schedule to leave. Right about the time that the first wave spawns. Normally, we would be sending two ships north, but obviously, you being short two ships, we are sending only one. And the Dunkirk, the battleship, is going to be heading over here to support in case needed. While the aircraft carrier can support the lone ship going north, the primary focus is still the northwest, as most of the ships that we need to kill is in that direction. Compared to a normal full division run, obviously we are leaving rather late, 
but we were ready to leave by the time the first wave had spawned, basically. And as long as you destroy these waves at a good pace, you won't have much trouble getting the scenario done with five stars. Now the second wave spawned at 9.12 and the third wave, the second battleship will spawn at 7.57 so we are on track on the kill rate pretty much considering we had started off killing these ships a little late we're actually on a good pace right now So, the first and second wave has been destroyed, earned that star, last star to earn is the second battleship about to spawn. Here, I'm obviously trying to avoid being broadside in Citadel. And if you're wondering, yes, the Makarov does get the Nuremberg's quarter pen for HE. And we're now pretty much headed for the exit, while our goal is still to farm as much damage as possible.
but don't forget, fourth wave sp spawns at 3.42. So don't forget to pay attention while you're heading for the exit. With the fourth wave out to spawn, loading AP, getting ready for Comsburg. Now while we have three enemy ships headed to attack us, we're still here waiting to farm the next wave. Because why not? Obviously if you had more ships destroyed and things were more urgent, you would probably want to head for the exit right now, but we still have plenty of ships in life, plenty of firepower, that we can use to kill ships and one more wave to farm so why not stick around a little longer and get more EXP especially since a since we're only running five ships Obviously some, hopefully, time torpedoes to hit the Bayern. Still something I am figuring out the perfect timing for. And with the last wave about to spawn, I'm getting ready for the first destroyer that will spawn next to me. And my torpedoes on the Bayern missed. Now is the time to leave. Now as you can see, if you have people who know what they're doing, doing Killer Whale with 5 and possibly still even 4 ships is very doable as we spent a lot of this game actually waiting around to farm more damage off every wave. If you're divisioning with an uncoordinated group it's obviously going to be very different as we are in Discord coordinating on voice. And, uh, well, if you want to give it a try with five or four ships, let me know. I'd be down to watch it if you do so. Hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching.